Welcome back, everybody. We are up here Great quite early. Oh, oh no, ghost. oh no, oh no. <laughs> Great Shelob's ghost indeed. Uh, yeah, we are up here early in the morning, early enough that the wolf spiders are still prowling back to their den. Uh, basically, all geared up now after our last episode. Um, I do need to still sort out my inventory. Um, and I believe that we should be ready-ish uh, to go take on the hedge lab. I am gonna just say that we're ready. We're gonna pretend that we're ready and we're just gonna go for it. So let's cook up all of this meat. And in the meantime, can throw some of these extra materials in storage. Uh, it's not quite cooked yet. Uh, if I need to repair anything, what is that going to take? I believe those only took a single piece of grub hide, I think. And maybe a mite buzz for and some grub hide for the other. Not quite sure about that. Do I concern myself with bringing repair materials? I think in order to keep my inventory clear, I'm not going to worry about it. I know that's a risky decision, but I feel like even going out today, adventuring it all for the lab we're going for, is kind of a risky decision as well. So, we need to get enough stuff for, uh, to make a, wait, that was not stuff, that's stuff for a marker. Um, we can actually get enough for two markers, I think, because I want to go ahead and make a marker right here at our house. If I can remember where the marker spot is. There we go. And I think we're going to put it like right there. Good, I did remember the recipe. Uh, we'll make it our home. We'll make it, we'll make it, uh, we'll make it green right now because that's kind of our main home. Uh, and that looks good to me. That way we'll be more easily able to find uh, exactly where we are, especially once we venture farther away. Uh, so we've still got all of that. And if we were to build another lean-to, uh, that's going to be here. We need three clover and two sprigs. So if I grab two more sprigs out, we can chop a clover. Salt. Might just leave that meat. We'll carry one with us. Uh, we'll chop one clover. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, so we have enough materials on us to build uh, a lean-to. We have enough to build a, uh, a marker. And so we are off to the hedge. Uh, we know that the super tech chip that Bertle wants uh, is right over there. Uh, however, I happen to know from experience that we're actually going to have to enter the hedge right around here. Um, and actually thinking about it, I maybe should have got... I need, I need stuff for one more marker, because we have to go to the Toad Swamp. Um, and that's not where I'm going to want my... Um, my shelter, I believe. Yeah. Or do I? Is that going to be close enough? Uh, don't know that it is. So... Let's chop down one more clover. Take this big, big guy. Uh, oh, there it is. Where did the other pieces go? 
Um, because I don't like carrying extra materials right now. We are gonna put two of those back. And then we just need two more plant fiber and we should be good to go. Alright, so. Onward to the hedge. So... Only other thing, we've got our shovel with us, but I don't think that we need it out. I think that we're going to prioritize having weapons available. Um, I want our axe, which is our hand, readily available. Um, and we've got food and water. We've got bandages. Um, and I think maybe a hammer should be our other quick access tool. I think that's a good combination. So that way we can get to all three of our weapons. Um, spears, which honestly I've got more for throwing than for stabbing. Um, and we've got our bow and arrow, and then our club. Or, oh, oh, we're back at the, the gulch of... Lots of mites. It's just a ladybug. We're all right. These mites. Don't want to leave me alone. There we go. Oh, so yeah, we got all of our weapons available. We've got other necessities like food and water quickly available, and we can heal. I think that is good setup for a dangerous laboratory. Cool, we got another can on my- ooh! We actually got- There's nothing else dangerous is around. We've got another lab here. That's definitely station. not a naturally occurring structure. Unless crystals come with computers now. My keen deductive reasoning suggests that is where the signal's coming from. Uh, you gonna play the tape? Uh, uh, Wendell? Tape? Auspicious beginning. I've thought about this in circles for days now, and I've come to a decision. It's time to restart spacer development. Ominent may not believe in it, but I know its potential. Though I must figure out how to return shrunk objects to their original size. It does seem important. The first step will be to address the particle transcription errors. It seems almost certain that the irregularities are responsible for the failure during the demonstration. Burgle. Please bring up all the lab data about the unknown particles. Happy to be of service. Notes will be prepared and delivered to your table in... Four hours or less. Four hours? What are the chances for less? Delivery estimate will be prepared in two hours or less. <laughs> An auspicious beginning. Good old burgle. All right, so nothing crazy intel-wise from that tape. All right, got water fleas discovered here. That's something new. That's always good. Uh, there's a new soda can over there that we'll have to go check out. I'm stuck on a lot of grass. Um, I think our toad should be... Hello, ant. Uh, our toad should be over here somewhere. And don't you worry, it's not a real toad. We're not having to fight those. That would be terrifying. Although technically, I don't know. They could have added real toads for all that I know. Um, because there have been parts of the this new update that I still most definitely have not seen. Let's see, there's our new soda can. That eyeball looked like a spider and I was really concerned that they had added water spiders to this part of the yard. Ah, here we go. So this is actually an area I would consider settling in. Um, oh. I 
So, there is that quest. Complete. Um, just because, like, this little island is always covered in weevils and aphids. And, uh, yes, I did say island. Um, so I feel like we would have a lot less chances of getting attacked by... <gasps> I can... I can break this. Uh, a lot less chances of getting attacked by spiders and things like that. <laughs> Okay, so we got brittle marble. That's one of the things that we need for upgrading. I thought that pebble was more marble. I might drop that later. We don't have much room for excess things. There's also a lot of clay around here, and so Better if we starving, need... I think. Um... If we wanted to, like, build even just, like, a big clay structure, uh, we do have the ability to, uh, or no, we didn't even have to research clay things. I think that after, um, doing the resource analyzer on clay, uh, in our last episode that we were able to now build, um, clay foundations and everything. So we could even just, like, build, um, build some stuff out of clay now, and so we could, we could do some fun things. Uh, so I, I really might consider making at least a small base over here. I like being by water. I just think it's a nice aesthetic. On over here, the water fleas. Um, all right. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, we want to go explore the Take hedge, and uh, I can already see some lab bits sticking out. So. This will be an exciting journey, but we also have to be careful because there are many bugs that will try to put a damper on things. So we've got our next lab right up here. Here, our next, um... Yeah. Yeah, that's right! Can I chop this berry yet? I think I can. <laughs> Alright, let's learn all kinds of things. Uh, here we go. Luckily, we can do... I forget, what are these? Field stations. That's what these are called. Uh, get to this field station. Any more... Any more lore in here? Ah, yes. The Kinder Science lab modules have not held up as well as anticipated. I thought hiding these lab units in the hedge would provide a bit of protection from my rampaging children. It appears not even the sanctuary of these leaves can protect my work from an errant flingman disc. The subsequent breaches in the lab structures have invited all manner of arachnid invaders to wander in. My plan is to recalibrate the tasty bots for defensive action. A stopgap solution, to be sure, but I've no time for repairs, not when I'm so close to unlocking the mysteries of raw science. All right, so that is funny that he's even saying that like his uh, his labs are like play sets. Right. Eventually, we're gonna be having to come back here and harvest more of those berries. So we we did research berry leather, and we have more smoothie recipes. Um, I don't remember if we can make. Uh, smoothie, uh, a smoothie maker yet? Um, I know that... Where there's one spot up, right here. Oh, jeez.
also some spiderlings definitely already here in the area. Uh, this is why we have to be very careful up here. We'll take a sip of this juice. Got... Oh no! We might be dead. Ah, died by misadventure. Well, that's death number three for those keeping track. Mm. Yeah, that is unfortunate, and I didn't have a chance to set up my shelter yet. I'm hoping I can set it up somewhere, like, up in the tree. Um, but I might be getting a little bit too ambitious on where to place it. So now we have to make that whole run back. Alright, well, we are back at the hedge. I always forget how to get rid of... Uh, my waypoint. I get rid of that, there we go. Whenever I panic, <laughs> waypoints often go down. Uh, so here we go. Let's grab our belongings. Uh, oh, and it's conveniently with some juice. I do not mind that. Uh, anything we need to do with our inventory? We are actually hungry, so let's eat that weevil meat. And this time, I am not going to forget to build a shelter a reasonable way up here. I also can't believe, like, that of all places is where I died. Like, that jump is actually pretty easy. There are way more perilous places up here to die. Just you wait. Just you wait and see. As long as the spiderlings haven't respawned, I'm kind of okay with this. Might see if we can make it across this zip line and then build the shelter. Alright, so Taking we've got raw science and a lab right here uh, that we're going to try to hit. This is moderately terrifying! We're going to drop just a touch early and I think build our shelter uh, right here. Right there. And we are going to set our respawn point. And then build our marker. We can find this spot. And we would like to mark this. Um, I think for just kind of like a temporary shelter, maybe I just put a flag down. Um, we can do a flag. Uh oh. And it's green, because we're in a bush. What's what's attacking me? I hear scary music. Um, but I don't see a threat. All right, well. I got the science. Nope, nope. Okay. Well, here we go into our first part of the hedge lab, and we've already got something bad. We've got a bad robot! And robots turn into science and yeah. kill them. And they die very quickly to throne spears, so... For anybody having trouble killing them in the early game, I do... Boom, quartzite, there we go. Uh, I do highly recommend... Uh, throwing, throwing your spear if you're having any trouble. Verbal transcription unit 87.10.25. Order number 73. I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark III's. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? 
They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. All solved with you, Mark Force, not to mention your most excellent mustaches. Thank you. I will never forget this moment. <laughs> Sweet little burgle. All right, so we have two folders in here. Uh, all right, Surveyor System Reboot Test 13 for the Hedge Observation Unit. Pre-test notes, increased radio wave interference in the yard. Isolating a single source unsuccessful. Interference uses a broad roving spectrum of frequencies. Wrote code to alter surveyor frequency every five seconds, keeping it hidden from this mysterious static. Results, success. Surveyor system reboot complete. Taze T units not used for guard duty have received the profile upload and are currently en route to their harvest targets in the yard. Notes. Taze T units used for field acquisition are showing increased signs of wear and tear, rust being the most prevalent, hence why we just fought rust tees, not taze tees. Uh, 19 unknown radio signals were spotted during the, re the reboot process. Point of origin were not at fixed locations. That rules out the kids and Mr. Henderson. All signs point to ominent. Increased security protocols on all lab facilities. Installing biometric scanners where needed. Interesting. 19 unknown radio signals. All signals point to ominent. I wonder if the um, the field stations are ominent trying to learn things. But in instead of being Wendell's uh, own field stations, because he only talked about the lab not the field stations in that one piece of lore that we got. Um, if there's 19 signals, I'm trying to think of like what else we could be searching for 19 things of. Um, the only part of that that wouldn't make sense is that we have the same equipment in and out of those uh, field stations. I don't know, just a thought. But it seems that, like, Ominent may be, like, after something of Wendell's. And that's why he's, like, putting security and everything, but they also have to be able to be small for that security to be necessary. Um, which is why then, like, Virgil gave us access. That's all very interesting. Um, oh, right, 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 we have a lever. We have a lever. Surveyor connection established. Use survey stations to scan for analyzed materials. Visit additional stations to expand the survey network. Oh, I guess that does kind of imply that they are Windows if the scabby is telling me to visit the stations. I'm still not used to the scabby talking. Okay. Surveyor system reboot test one. Uh, Pre-test notes. Uh, frequent spacer use is putting a drain on cell volume supplies. Recalibrate the system, the surveyor system, to focus on needed components. Uh, save new location profile and upload to Tasty units nine and seventeen for extraction. Results failure. Numerous system errors. Unknown interference during the scanning process. Likely radio waves of some sort. 
possible sources. Number one, neighbor, Bill Henderson. Number two, the kids, Inspector Hackett Walkie Talkie set. Number three, Omnent? So, in the way he was thinking about it, it, he didn't think it was the neighbor or the kids, and that it was Omnent. Is that right? Uh, Wendell, uh, Hedge, number two, test 13. Uh, da, 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 da. that rules out the kids, of Mr. Hedge. Yeah, so it is Omnent that's doing something to, like, scatter his signals. Uh, it is getting dark-ish. Do I have a torch? That is the one thing I did not bring. That was not the most smart of me because the hedge gets rather dark. And I thought I was being all smart and prepared. Um... You know what? I think that for... For your guys' sake, I might just come wait over here. I'm going to sleep. We're going to wake up really early in the morning. And it's still going to be really dark. Oh gosh, it's even worse. Uh, and we're just going to... Oh, jeez. We're gonna get attacked by the spiderling. This is very difficult in the dark. There we go. I got it. Alright. So, I am literally just going to stand here until it gets light out. Because I can't see a thing, and I don't have the materials for a torch. Um, so, we're going to chill until it gets light. And uh, I will be back in a minute. Alright, I think that this is light enough that we can move on. First things first. Uh, actually, I think... I'm, I'm gonna use some prior knowledge. I think that we actually have some water coming up ahead. Unless we start dying of dehydration, I am going to try to press on. We're going to explore I over spy. there another time. I could use something to drink. Okay, we're going to take one sip. Don't even need to boil it. Yeah, there's our lab that we're looking for. I would like that science, science. A scientific breakthrough. Very weird. All right, so there's food and rocks and smoothie. And a scabby and a tape. For so long, I have felt taunted by the spiders of the yard. Climbing, crawling, skittering with the greatest of ease. Oh, and how they delight in violating my workspace. I can't take a single step without getting stuck in their confounded webbing. I'm wasting daylight running, climbing, surviving, traversing this broken lab. The entire yard, for that matter, has become untenable. But perhaps my spider friends hold the key to my problems. All right, so, um, 
we just found that dandelion tuft. Um, I wanted to let uh, take play. Um, and that will let us much more safely continue our journey here. Uh, I'm, I, I could be just avoiding all of this spider webbing, um, but we do collect it and it will be helpful for us as we move on. I also could attack these web sacks. Uh, more spiderlings will come out um, and I can kill them for more webbing. Uh, and they also can hold some other bug parts. Um, I believe that every web sack should hold another bug part as well as a spiderling. Um, if I were a little bit more geared up and weren't trying to do other things um, on this journey, I might do that, but we have a lot of to-dos. So we're going to minimize uh, excess fighting on this trip. But taking down a few extra webs, that is no trouble at all. Alright, so in a, a previous audio log, there's some science we need to try to get. When you're off to the beach, or a day at the park, doesn't matter the time, cause it glows in the dark. You can leave your toys home, except for just one, cause you can't leave your fling man without leaving fun! Never leave your fling man. All right, Pete, they have added, uh... Whoa, that was a great jump there, little spiderling. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. Panic! Okay. Uh, why did I feel like I still heard one more spiderling? Alright, let's see if we can get all of our stuff back. Uh, oh, that's because I did hear one more spiderling. There we go. I'm now a parry master. Uh, do I want to go down here to get an arrow? Yeah, I think I do. Alright, cool. That felt a little bit risky, but it turned out to be worth it. Okay. Um, so, uh, we're not gonna go down this tunnel of death right now, but I am gonna grab the science. It is a fun tunnel of death that we will explore another time, though. No, oh, stay up here, stay up here. Ah, stuck in a web! There we go. Alright, and we've got a couple more... Oh no, that's the zip line. I think there was... Some raw science down here. So yeah, there's the, uh, the little dandelion used as a kind of a parachute. As I had mentioned, we're gonna go part of the way on foot. Uh, I'm curious if there's anything up here. This looks suspiciously accessible. No? Nothing? Okay. But yeah, we've got this lab. We've got all of that lab. We've got a lot to go still. Alright. breakthrough! <laughs> Terrible job blocking now. I should get my parry master mutation taken back. Okay, what else do we have? 
got us another smoothie. We've got more rocks. Okay, what? What things do we have? The hedge lord. Uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna eat that. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just eat that too because I kind of want to keep things moving here and not having to worry about stamina as much. Uh, sounds nice like a clean. good idea. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, eating spiderweb filled water or drinking spiderweb filled water sounds like a um, all right, so there's, uh, Wendell and family. Taking a look. We've got a little... A little guy. What's that name? That Dan, maybe? And then two kids. Interesting. All right. Have a Today, listen. Today, truly asked, uh, or rather insisted, I take a break from my work for a family day. I'll admit the argument that preceded my reluctant agreement was one for the ages. She just doesn't understand how important the work is. But in the end, all was not lost. As fate would have it, our little trip to Storm and Beaches Wave Park has given me fresh inspiration. A particular attraction sported a zipline over an undulating pool filled with sun-baked tubers. Basking in the light of the cruel sun that baked them like red, red raisins. <laughs> but I digress. It was the zipline that captured my imagination. Such an elegant solution to my problems in the hedge. When we got home, it was straight back to work. After another argument, of course. Got those marriage problems going on. All right. All right, are we safe in here? We are. All right, what do we have? Uh, we've got more food. We've got some fancy rocks again. Uh, before I scan... Oh, we've got more. Early test runs on the zipline system have produced mixed results. Prices on steel cable are ridiculous, so I've been forced to proceed with my original idea. Spider thread. I'm using Spider web samples from my unwanted guests with a few clever alterations, of course. Things were going well until Sarah threw yet another toy into the hedge. I swear that the lost city of Atlantis might be found beneath the roots of this blasted bush. I told them both. No baseballs, no flingman discs, no more throwing. I'll need to find a way to strengthen the supplies and I've forbidden the children from playing in the yard temporarily, of course. Dinner will be, I would say, awkward, I suspect. Is there anything else fun? All right, let's activate this computer. Okay. So, the hedge lab works as such. We have got everything turned on, but we need to go track down the password, and this is where things get a little spicy. So, we are not the only, uh, only visitors up here. Because as Wendell has said many, many times, has a spider problem. little one's taken out. Let's sit here and heal for a second. I'm just gonna go ahead and take Where's that for some extra health. 
And actually, we are pretty darn good. guy. Come on. Okay. There we go. There we go. Those little ones screech for so long that I always think that there's another, like, two or three even after we've taken them out. Okay. Well, I do hear another one. To be fair. All right, let's let's start chopping down some of these webs so that this place isn't quite so hazardous to move through. Uh, we've got a resource analyzer, uh, but nothing we have is new. Okay, I guess that we don't analyze the um, fancy rocks. Slowly, my torments come together into one ingenious solution. <laughs> After trying countless materials, I finally found something to fix my zipline problem. While the bonding formulas were complex to say the least, I've successfully fused the web ropes with raw science. Once again, it proves to be the key. The new ropes are miraculously soft, but have the tensile strength of forged steel. I've dubbed my new creation Zippy Fiber. <laughs> Just think of the practical applications! Yeah! Dental floss! Ah. Oh, only something without gums would suggest that. <laughs> this is not some trifle to pick parsley between trips to the periodontist. <laughs> I will take your word for it, Dr. Nully. Taking a look. Ah. I just list. wanted to, to scan it. There we go. I didn't mean to throw that one. Alright. Get our, our, our blah, blah, blah. get all of our spears back here. And we need to clear that zip line's path. When we eventually take that. Uh oh. Goodness. That is so many bots. Okay. Any more? Oh, I glitched my spears onto the roof. Well, that is not ideal. Um, huh. Okay, well, that's all right. Gonna kind of clear out this room, I think, before we move on. That is a nasty looking piece of berry. Oh, grab that science. I'm holding raw science in my hands. What does it even mean? <laughs> what does it even mean? Ha! 
Okay, get more of that. Uh, I don't think I can really take that zip line because of that branch. Um, so we'll have to... Or if I can, I'll come back to it. Because maybe I can come down this way and get to the same spot. Uh... Ooh. Am I able to break these? No, I need a better hand. Just take out Mr. Rusty here. I don't exactly want to go ziplining in and have him immediately beat me up. And, eh, if I lose some arrows, I lose some arrows. Oh, there is a hole in the floor. That is good to know. All right, that's our second piece of the code. Uh, oh, and we're going to go pick up that arrow. So, it all worked out. But did I just hear a spider? I don't want more spiders. But I think I'm going to get more spiders. We don't always get what we want now, do we? Uh, okay, so this is just where we were. Can I go through here? No. Uh, so we can come back up. And I have not been through this door yet. Uh, ooh, the supply room. Come on. I just need one more hit. There we go. Uh, okay. Uh, we definitely want all the quartzite and all the marble. Uh, I don't really care about the pebblets. Uh, ooh, we don't have any silk rope. Uh, acorn bits, whatever. Saps, whatever. Clover leaves, that's fine. Fine. Nothing else, really. Uh, grass is fine. I wonder if I can get any of these stems in an accessible spot, because I don't currently have a way to get weed stems. I mean, I could always just, like, chuck them out. Um, let's see. How do I ping? Uh, I don't know. But I know it's right below the lab. Um, cool. Hopefully it won't despawn before I can use that. Ooh, now that I'm on top of the lab, can I get a spear? Uh, whatever. Let's not worry about it. Let's just get this password. Okay. There's password, more bandages. I kept hitting the wrong key. I just wanted to eat the other granola bar. Oh, that was, I was doing so well in that lab, honestly. Okay, we're going to get back there real quick. I was really hoping I could make it all the way through there without dying. Uh, where?
All right, here we go. I hit the wrong button to drop off. Rip. Oh, thank goodness that they have a way back for people like me. Oh, okay, okay. I hope all my things are still here. Yes. more concerned about trying to get that door open, which was not the most smart, but... Okay. But now... We can actually sleep through the night. And play our waiting game again. go check to see if there's any granola bars in this other lab I happen to leave. Nope, I did take them. Oh well. It'll be a little bit tricky since I am thirsty to make it all the way back. But we will give it our best, and uh, <laughs> we also don't have armor. We also have a very busted up shield. Uh, but here goes nothing. Take three. You. I could use something to drink. No water filtration tablets needed. Much better. Okay, let's see. What else can we do? Let's... What do you do? Uh, well fed. Mm. Let's do that. Not bad. Uh, I am sadly out of smoothies. We can research that. Well, that got us. Uh, ooh, all kinds of things. New dagger, new axe, the dew collector, that'll be huge. And a better bow. Sadly, that's also going to take, all those things are going to take a lot of bug parts that we're going to have to go battle big bad bugs to get. Um... Ugh, I still have to... Get rid of other things. Pebble, I don't need you. Um, okay. Is there anything else I can afford to drop? Uh, we're just gonna destroy that spear. Just in case we need that. And... Okay, we're good. 
Let's finish this. Already have granola bars, so taking one more. Oh, this is so cool, being able to do that resource analyzer. Oh yeah, we still haven't actually got the chip yet. Uh, open this door up. And cool, that is where that is. So I th think next is taking this zip line. A scientific breakthrough. Taking a look. Uh, okay, that is the last piece of password. That is good. Okay, that's where we are here now. Uh, was there another way we could go? I want to see if there's anything else. Like a scabby. Uh, is it worth... Trying to go out there. I don't think so. Let's get this actual thing done. Wait, how do I get to that zip line? Hello, Mr. B. If I follow you, <laughs> will you lead me to honey or to an early grave? get up there. We'll have to investigate. Um, Alright, so, back to the computer. Enter the password. And in we go. And there is our super chip. A super chip? I wonder how we'll get Burgle's memories off of this. There is I have Mr. to blow on it. <laughs> that usually solves the problem. That or Strictly. flipping the console upside down. Oh, or maybe there's I haven't some heard of flipping the console upside down. I need to snip off. Okay, uh, let's see. Where was that? Uh, where was that data that we just got? Uh, yep, that's the one. It is likely that this will be my last log from the Hedge Lab. Regrettably, the spider infestation is only worsened. Last night, I had a close encounter with a giant brood mother that shook me to my core. Couple that with the strange radio signals I've been receiving, and I no longer think this facility is safe. The Burgle here. Can I start you off with a double charred barbarian bacon burger? It's made the Roby's way. <laughs> Burgle. Initiate evacuation yep. protocols for the hedge lab. Make sure any remaining biometric scanners and passcodes are encrypted in the mainframe. Is that really necessary, sir? Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely necessary. We're being watched. That's not sketchy at all. Um. Okay, so that's how we came in. I'm trying to find where that random bit of raw science was. Uh, 
Oh, there's a another milk molar up here. Sadly, we cannot get to that. But I believe there still is stuff that we can get to. If we keep going... We still have one more section of lab up high to get to, and I just need to remember how to get to it. Taking a look. It's like right over there. Hmm. And then eventually we'll work our way up on top of that, but that'll be for another day. But let's see, how can we keep 